Hi, it's Eric from Endo Bricks. In today's video, we'll be looking at the facts concerning building in a gated community. We are at Apollonia City, a gated community in Oibi, off the Dodowa Road. So follow me as we interview one of the officials. So I have with me here Mr. Yao Echampon Ejei, the Marketing and Communications Manager of Apollonia City. So he's going to help us answer our questions. So Mr. Ejei, welcome. Thank welcome. you very much. Thank you very much, Eric. Okay, so uh, the first question is, when we talk about Apollonia City, what is Apollonia City? Okay, so um, Apollonia City is a 2,325 acre mixed-use development okay. which was developed by Rendezvous who happens to be Africa's largest urban developer okay. with growth projects in five um, countries um, Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, um, Kenya and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now Apollonia City was designed with a concept that we call live, work, play like I said, it's a mixed-use development. So live, work, play means that the development makes provisions for residential, for commercial, for recreational, and for industrial purposes. So in a nutshell, Apollonia City is a city that is designed for what we call a complete life. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, our next question is, when we talk about service plot, what's a service plot? Okay, so service plot refers to a parcel of land that comes with some amount of infrastructure. We're talking about access to water. We're talking about access to electricity. We're talking about tarred roads. We're talking about drains. We're talking about sewage, provisions made for sewage. And in modern times, like at Apollonia City, when we refer to service plots, we are also talking about access to ICT through fiber optic cables that are laid underground. So okay. that, when a parcel of land comes with these infrastructure, we refer to it as a serviced piece of land. Okay, when, uh, when, we, when we talk about Apollonia, I believe you have a lot of plots here. So what are some of the size, uh, what are the size plots available here? Okay, so um, typically in Ghana, people are used to two um, <laughs> land sizes. We talk about um, 70 by 100, which they refer to, which is commonly referred to as one plot, and 70 by 50, which is referred to as a half plot. In Apollonia City, however, because we are customer oriented and we recognize that our very customers would have varied needs and very size needs, our sizes range from as low as 40 by 60, uh, 50 by 70, uh, 60 by 70, 80 by 70, 90 by 70, and the standard 100 by 70. Even if you, you have need for an 80 by 100, we have provision for that. So we recognize that there are varying needs, and so we have varied land sizes that meet the needs of the, of the consumer. Okay, okay, that's wonderful. Okay, so let's look at if a, a customer wants to purchase a land, how many can a, a customer purchase? Like how many <laughs> size of land can, can a customer purchase? There is no limit to, to, to the amount. It all depends on your need and also your budget. I mean, there's no restriction that one person can own. We have, we have people who have bought, like I said, a 60 by 40. We have people who have bought uh, a 50 by 100. We have people who have bought um, 100 by 70. And then we have people who bought four acres. We, people, we, have, we actually have people who have bought large tracts of land mm -hmm. and are developing gated communities all within Apollonia City. So there really isn't mm -hmm. a limit to the amount of land that you can own. That is wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, I think this is one of the the next question. It's I think it's one of the the things people will be looking at you talking about, which is the price range, <laughs> the price range of your plots. So um, I usually don't like to throw numbers around because um, I think in my interaction with customers, I have come to understand that what ultimately they are looking for is value. And so whatever the price is that you will, that you will request for 
is relative to value. What I can say is that relative to the value that Apollonia City offers, we are affordable. And what option do people have when it comes to having a home in Apollonia City? Great. So and when it comes to having a home in Apollonia City, there are really two options. The first one is to buy a piece of land and build to your specification. So I, I started talking about um, our service plots. So our service plots, like I said, come with electricity, uh, water, they come with ICT, fiber optic cables, they come with um, tarred roads, they come with underground sewers and drains. Now, in, typically in, in Apollonia City, you can look around, you won't see overhead cables. We don't believe in overhead cables. All our cables are laid underground. Okay. So no matter, uh, there is a certain level of decorum which is um, synonymous with a modern developed um, a modern developed city which is what we get so you can get to purchase a, a service piece of land to build according to your specifications however apollonia city is is planned so you will have to submit your your drawings for approval the reason is that for example we have as part of our drainage strategy we have um, certain guidelines for example we have a 70 percent build land to building ratio which is to say that uh, you are not allowed to build on more than 70 percent of your land your land must make um, provision for some amount of greenery mm -hmm. you should have some some lawns around you can't tile everywhere in a modern development that's not advised because what that means is that uh, we we know exactly how much water the drains can take so we expect that when it rains everyone's land will absorb a certain amount of water. So um, you have to follow some of these little, little guidelines so that everything in the city continues to work. But other than that, um, you, you can build. That's the first option. Now, the second option is to buy homes from us. We are in the Oxford, one of our um, gated communities. Now, our gated communities come with security it comes with all the infrastructure that i've, I've spoken about um, your waste is collected the, your streets are cleaned it's part of the services that we render so you have an option to buy currently we have two bedrooms we have um, two bedrooms detached we have semi-detached we have three bedrooms we have four bedrooms with an outhouse three bedrooms with a detached outhouse so you also have the option to buy our homes okay. And then you also have the option of buying our plots, serviced and semi-serviced plots, okay. to build according to your specification. Okay, wonderful. Uh, let's look at this. What type of customers do come to Apollonia? Apollonia, um, we, att we attract people from all walks of life. Now, keep in mind that when finished, Apollonia City will have 25,000 residents I mean 25,000 housing units okay. with an estimated 100,000 residents so really people from all walks of life currently we have expats we have um, we have families we have um, uh, foreign nationals we have Ghanaians who have lived in the diaspora for a long time and want to come home basically Apollonia City is a place for people who appreciate order peace and quiet okay okay I think everyone loves to have peace. So, <laughs> oh, so, uh, yeah, so people like noisy yeah, environments. Oh, okay, yeah, we have people like that. We have people like that, though. Uh, let's look at this. I think someone will ask, why is it important for me to build in a gated community or buy a, a house in a gated community? So let's look at the advantages and disadvantages when it comes to a gated community. Well, I can um, I can speak about building. Um, owning property in a gated community in Apollonia City. Okay. Because um, the reason why I say that is because the a, a standard gated community is expected to come with certain certain services. Unfortunately, not everybody actually lives by their word to provide that. Apollon at Apollonia City, we do. So, for example, um, like I was talking, waste collection is sorted out. Um, when, once you buy the property, you have kind of like a warranty period. So if there are any structural issues, we take care of it for you. Okay. If, if, and I mean, in the, a very unlikely event that you have issues, 
you bought from a from a company and so we are available to help you sort it out now then there's city management basically your streets are clean you have access to water you have access access to electricity and you have a one if if you were to build on your own for example you bought a piece of land somewhere you go to ecg ecg comes to you and says that uh, you need to buy a pool then someone says uh, you need to pay for a meter then someone <laughs> says you need to do this you, you basically you need to run all those errands if you buy in a properly ordered gated community all of that is taken care of for you yeah. and you are you are guaranteed of a certain level of quality okay now like i started by saying at polonia city we are, we are part of a group that has development in five countries so we get to draw on expertise from mm -hmm. kenya from congo from nigeria and bring all that to bear for the benefit of our customers okay it on a on the other hand, someone may say it's, it's relative to buying in some unstructured place. They may find it a bit relatively cheaper there. But then, that's why I talked about value. Yeah. By what do you quantify cheap? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a story. A friend called me one weekend and said, oh, he had bought a piece of land not too far away from a place that we both knew. So if i could go with him to check it out i hadn't seen him in a long time so i said oh let's go let's go check it out we drove got down we had to meander through some bush mm -hmm. to get to the land we were there in less than three minutes six hoodlums on three bicycles each bicycle had two people and each motor uh, motorbike had three people they brushed us came down aggressive uh, what are you doing here because that's langard and i was thinking <laughs> People still have this problem in the 21st century, really? <laughs> <laughs> My friend was now was was attempting to explain that oh they had bought the lab from some chief. I just came and said, Chief, we are not buying anything here, we are buying water from across <laughs> that side. And if you look there, there's no one there, but I, <laughs> I don't want any trouble. Yeah, we, we I told him that's the reason why I, I, I'm telling you that listen, buy from a properly organized gated community. You don't have to worry about this. Yeah. At a Polonia city, we have people who have bought lands for a long time, for a very long period, and are actually surprised that for the first time in their lives, no one is calling them at dawn to say, Chief, someone is pouring sand on your land, or someone <laughs> is laying foundation on your land. You know, that these are some of the benefits you get from dealing with. I mean, the house is already built. You don't have to worry about is the contractor robbing you. Mm -hmm. Then there's also the issue of uh, title registration and all the complications that come with it it's all sorted mm -hmm. and taken care of by by a polonia city wow i think it will save us stress yeah Definitely. going through all these things that you, you've spoken about registering your land and those kind of stuff the contractor and those kind of things okay let's look at this i believe there are protocols that one need to go through to get uh has or designed taken care of or uh, i believe there are protocols that in case you come in with your design or your contractor you need to go through before you'll be allowed to build here yes so basically um first of all um apollonia city i said it's master planned now the master plan for apollonia city was designed by som that's skidmore owens and merrill SOM is the architectural firm that designed and built the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. So there are standards for everything. Mm -hmm. For example, um, height restrictions. Now, if you look around us, the debris hills, the mountains are all around us. Mm -hmm. This is view. Okay. Um, people would want to have access to the views. The city is designed in such a way that depending on where your piece of land is, you cannot build beyond. So in certain enclaves, you can't go beyond three floors. In certain places, you can't go beyond five floors. You can't come and put up a uh, 25 story right <laughs> at the edge of the city. You obscure the view of everyone behind you. So basically, when you prepare your drawings, you submit it to us because our master plan has already been approved by the KKMA Bon Katamazo Municipal Assembly. And they trust that um, we are strict on observing some of these things. When you submit um, our master plan, you, you, you submit your drawings to us, we then take over going to KKMA. So whereas you would have had to go to KKMA and all, we already know what the master plan says. We know that in this enclave, this is what is allowed. 
So based on that, we give you the feedback when everything is done on our end. We then go ahead and send it to KKME um, for, for your benefit. Now, an another important thing to take note of is that the quality of the building that you're putting up affects the value of the property of your neighbors. Okay. So we, we are there to check some of these things so that everybody gets value. So you deal with us, we deal with KKME on your behalf. Yeah. That's also good. It's all about convenience. It's all about, all about convenience, yeah. It's also good. Uh, let's look at this too. I believe a lot of people will ask this question or will be asking the question, this question. When we start, let's say we provided our plan and construction has started. Uh, do we have any opportunity or any chance to maybe change our plan whilst we've started the construction? Yes. Think of us as partners. Mm -hmm. Don't think of us as a headmaster with a, a rod. No, no, no. We are, we are partners. Okay. So basically, um, like I said, the master plan has already been designed and already been approved. If you need to make... I doubt that anybody will build to the point where he needs to make changes and will want to break down the entire building. It's just a small so, structure. Yeah. So, so long as you know that, for example, 30% um, of your land is supposed to be allocated to greens, we are not going to tell you which part. That's, that's your prerogative. So yes, if you want to make stru structural changes, it's allowed, you can do that. Okay, let me ask this question. Why Apollonia City? Why should I come to Apollonia City to build? Or to even buy a land, uh, buy a land and build or buy a house here? That's a very good question. When it comes to Apollonia City, ultimately, it is the master plan. There's so many people who sell land. But here, it is a master plan. To say that a group of professionals have sat down anticipated what would be needed by a group of people, by 25,000 housing units, by 100,000 people over the ne next number of years, for example, oh. and have, for example, in certain areas, according to the master plan, they are designated, designated recreational green areas. You are not allowed to build. No construction will go on there. These are parks. People can go and sit, enjoy the weather. These are things that unfortunately we don't have in Ghana. Every, there are tiles being laid everywhere. The trees, it's hot everywhere. But at a point, because of the master plan, provisions have been made for parks. Provisions have been made for green areas because we understand that as part of the master plan, it affects the climate of the area. Mm -hmm. So really when it comes to Polonia, it's not just even about the land. The land is sold everywhere. It's the master plan. Then also the quality of the infrastructure, the quality of the roads, access to water, access to um, electricity. We are actually in talks to set up our own solar farm so that we can have access to our own power source mm -hmm. in, in our development in Kenya. They have huge tanks that have been built to win them off the national grid. And that is, that is ultimately the plan. Yeah. Apollonia City is designed to be a self-sustaining city. So if you ask why Apollonia, the question is, why not Apollonia? <laughs> that is good. That is why, not, why not Apollonia City? city. Yes. Okay. Are there any restrictions on the type of construction that a customer wants to build? Uh, let's say, for example, we are interlocking bricks company, and no bricks. So maybe a, when a client comes in to say that I want to build with interlocking bricks, or let's say round earth, or even shipping container, is it allowed or something? Well, so, yes, I mean, I like. I'm aware that we actually have one development currently ongoing in one of our, our enclaves, number four, that is being built with interlocking bricks. Yeah. Yeah. And we are a modern company dedicated to delivering quality. Anybody that wants to bring quality and innovation, we embrace it. Okay. Um, and the reason why I say that is, um, we understand that in real estate, the value of your, the value of the, or the quality of the property that you put up affects the value of your neighbor's property. Mm -hmm. So if you came to put up a building that was, allow me to use, 
advisedly inferior in quality mm -hmm. you will cause the value of your next door neighbor's property to depreciate yeah. but if you came and put up a wonderful wow building the value of his property oh, also so begins yeah. to go up and so we are committed to like i said for us it's all about value mm -hmm. we are committed to also protecting the value of our mm -hmm. client's investment and so think of us more as a as a partner and not a headmaster that will say, don't do this. If if it's beautiful, if it's innovative, if it's of a high quality, quality. we embrace it. And we know that interlocking brick is one of the, the new innovation that is taking construction by storm. And so, so long as the quality is up there, we embrace it. Wow. wow. Thank you very much. So probably we'll take your final words. Yes. Um, for anyone who believes in quality who believes in living in a master plant enclave i mean for example when you when you go around take a drive through various communities in accra um, even the places where the value of lands are borderline ridiculous you notice that in that same enclave there is someone's residence here then there is a beer bar right next right. to it with too much noise. <laughs> yes, and they, they they play music till 1, 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then three buildings down the line, there's an office right next to a mm -hmm. uh, residence. And then there's a mosque or a church mm -hmm. right there. It's, it provides, so even though these are services that we, are, that we, we need, if it's not in a very planned and structured place, it could be a nuisance at a certain point in time. In Apollonia City, our master plan allows that we have social areas. We have, a, we have places designated for schools. We actually have a school that is currently being constructed. We have places where some churches have come mm -hmm. to buy plots and it's designated if there's a reasonable distance from residences so that it's not too far away for, pe for, for people to walk to, mm -hmm. but it's not too close to, so that the churches are forced to reduce their sounds yes, in the way okay. it, it's planned in, this, in a way that they will still have um, religious freedom but will also not be a nuisance it is all the function of the master plan okay. so if you are if you are in the diaspora thinking about coming back home if you're thinking about relocating to ghana if you are a Ghanaian who's lived abroad for a while, if you are in Ghana and you are tired of the noise and want a place of peace, quiet and quality, I advise you to consider a property at Apollonia City. Thank you very oh, much, Eric. Thank you. So once again, thank you, Mr. J. Thank you very much thank you for so much taking for time us. out of your busy schedules to have this, uh, all our questions answered for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. And we are waiting for your developments. <laughs> sure. <laughs> here in Apollonia City. You definitely see us here. You uh, definitely see us here. You see our build all over, all over. Fantastic. Our interlocking bricks all over. Fantastic. So this brings us to the end of today's interview where we looked at the facts concerning building in a gated community. We hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Follow us on all social media handles at Enobricks. You can also visit us on our website www.enobricks.com.